In this question, we have an L-shaped object made of thin rods of uniform mass density and is suspended with a string as shown. So these are the two rods of uniform mass density and it is suspended from this point A. Okay. This length AB and BC it is equal and the angle made by AB with the downward vertical is theta. So angle made by this AB with the downward vertical it is theta. Okay. And this system is obviously at equilibrium and we are asked to give the value of tan theta. Let me redraw this diagram. So this is the rigid support, this is the string, this is the rod, this is the other piece of rod. Okay, so these rods are identical. This is A, this point is B and this point is C. Okay, now this system is in equilibrium. So the weight of this rod, it is acting from the center, this is Mg and uh, the weight of this rod is also acting from the center. So this is also Mg. Okay. Now, as you can see, see for this rod, for the rod AB, this Mg is acting in the downward direction. Okay. So it will try to rotate this rod in this direction, in anticlockwise direction. And for this rod BC, this Mg is acting in the downward direction. So it will try to rotate the rod in clockwise direction. So if the system is in equilibrium, these two torques should be equal. Okay. Now, the angle made by this rod with the vertical, it is given that this angle is theta. Okay. So the torque which is produced by this force Mg, it will be Mg multiplied by this distance because we are calculating the torque about this point. Okay. The net torque about this point will be 0. So this rod length is L. So this is L by 2. So this will be L by 2 cos theta and this will be L by 2 sin theta. So torque produced by this will be Mg into L by 2 sin theta. Okay. And what about this? See, uh, this angle is theta. This angle is given to be 90 degree. So that implies this angle will also be theta. Okay. Now, this if this is L by 2, this is theta. So this distance will be L by 2 cos theta. And this entire distance, this is L. So this is L sin theta. Okay. Now, uh, if this diagram is not to the scale actually. So uh, this point A, it is at this particular location. And this point C, it is somewhere here. So C point is here, this is A. So the perpendicular distance for calculating the torque, we need the perpendicular distance. So this is the perpendicular distance. So this distance will be the difference of these two length. So the torque produced by this force Mg, that is a clockwise torque, it will be Mg into L by 2 cos theta minus L sin theta. So now we have the two torques and if the system is in equilibrium, these two torques must be equal. So let us equate them. So it is mg L by 2 sin theta is equal to mg L by 2 cos theta minus L sin theta. So this L and mg, this cancels out. So this is sin theta 1 by 2 sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 cos theta minus sin theta. So this comes here. So this is 3 by 2 sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 cos theta. This 2 2 cancels out. So this is tan theta is equal to 1 by 3. So tan theta equal to 1 by 3. This is the correct option. Option 2 is the correct answer. So this is another question from the 9 January paper. A rod of length 50 centimeters is pivoted at one end. It is raised such that it makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal. This figure is given and released from rest. Its angular speed when it passes through the horizontal position. Okay. Now questions of this type like if an object is raised to a particular position and it is dropped 
and it crosses a particular position and you are asked to calculate velocity or angular velocity. For such problems, we need to use the work energy theorem. Okay. That is when this rod is at this particular position, it will have potential energy and when it comes down, its potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. So, we will equate potential energy into kinetic energy and here the rod is hinged. So, it is not undergoing any translation, it is only undergoing rotation. So, we will equate the potential energy with the rotational kinetic energy. So, here the potential energy uh, if the weight is assumed to be concentrated at, at the center. So, this is 30 degree. So, this will be the height. This length is L by 2. So, this is L by 2 sin theta. So, this will be mg L by 2 sin 30 degree. This is the potential energy and when it crosses this position, this entire potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy that is the rotational kinetic energy half i omega square. Okay. So, this is mg L by 2 half is equal to half. Okay. Now, for rod, the moment of inertia about it is rotating about this point, end point, hinge point. So, it is ml square by 3 omega square. Okay. So, this mm cancels out, this L goes out, this 2 is also cancels out. So, we have omega square is equal to 3g by twice L. Okay. So, that is omega is equal to square root of 3g by twice L. So, that is substituting the values 3g is here it is 10 meter per second square 2 into length of the rod is 50 centimeter. So, 0 0.5 meter. So, this is 1, this is 30. So, omega equal to square root of 30 radian per second. So, option 1 is the correct answer.